And all right, you too. Bye. <laughs> it is Sunday. Sunday fun day for some people. But I, like always, am headed to work. I'm about to jump on my little cut through road. If you can see in the horizon, it looks like there's rain up and now. And maybe with any kind of luck. Oh, goodness to gracious, take that curve, boy. With any kind of luck, I can make it to the workplace without getting my panties wet. Yay! All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, the topic today. Listen to me. The topic today, like I'm some kind of topic person. <laughs> but what I want to talk about today to myself is uh, one. You remember when we used to see people talking to themselves, and we used to say, "Damn, they weirdos. Or they crazy. Something wrong with them." It used to be deemed crazy to talk to yourself back in the days. But now in the age of vlogging and YouTubing and selfies and whatever else you want to call it, uh, talking to yourself is a thing of normal. Ain't that something? How things change. What used to be is not now. What's now is not going to be what it's going to be. But anyway, my topic is, how many of you guys are uh, motorcycle children? Y'all was raised up around motorcycles. Your, your granddaddy had one. Your daddy had one. Your, your brothers and sisters, all of them ride motorcycles. I was, you know, show of hands, how many uh, was raised up in a biker family? Put your hand down, Slappy. Oh, not me. I was not raised up in the biker family. As far as I know, Uncle Robert, my Uncle Robert, we call him Unk, U-N-K, Unk. Unk has motorcycles. Uh, don't know if he's done any traveling, but I know he has them. He's got an old Harley Sportster, and he, uh, he, he's got some old bikes never really had the pleasure of traveling with him. I think I did go around the corner with him one time. And uh, I had Uncle Nay. Uh, Uncle Nay had a motorcycle. And as far as I can remember, I think I seen Uncle Nay on that bike one time. And then it was parked behind his mother's house, my granny's house. Uh, we called it Granny Francis. Uh, and it sat back there for as long as I can't remember, I don't even know what was even wrong with it, if anything was wrong with it. But that's the only two that's in my family that's, uh, that I know ride. And I've had a few cousins, or do I? Yeah, I had a few cousins that had some bikes. And, uh, but in other words, I was not raised up in a biker family. Uh, a lot of the kids that I went to school with, they all had some little dirt bikes and things of that nature. And uh, I wanted one real bad. My dad was not buying me no motorcycle. Do you hear me? I, and I wasn't going to ask. You <laughs> I wasn't even going to fix my mouth to ask. But I knew if I could ever get my hands on one, I was going to get me a bike. And I used to daydream about riding and uh you know, just riding around and stuff like that. Me and my cousin, rest in peace, Jimmy, 
when we was kids, we used to talk about riding cross country. And uh, we was the same age, and he is no longer with us. But I, I remember as children, we used to have those dreams of getting some bikes, not even knowing what kind of bikes. We just wanted some motorcycles, and we was gonna ride, you know, to California, cross country, and just uh, just ride and live and, and see what we see. And you know, his cousins there, but he's no longer with us. And this. Shame. I've got three motorcycles that's willing, capable, and can do those type of trips. And uh, I would definitely, if he was with us, ain't no doubt in my mind, all these trips that I've taken, he would be right beside me on one of my bikes if he didn't have his own. But back to the topic, yeah, I, I wasn't raised in that kind of family. Look at them ducks. I wasn't raised in a family where everybody had motorcycles. Everybody was some big old bad biker boys and and all that. If anything, everybody in my family was uh, singers and you know piano players and you know was real heavy in, into the church. You say, what happened to you, Slappy? <laughs> no, I I do know the Lord. He is my Lord and Savior. He wakes me up every morning. I know where I get my blessings from. Well, that's where uh, my family kind of hailed from is uh, the church thing. Granny played the organ, had an auntie, two aunties played a, a piano, and you know, we sang in the children's choir, the family choir. My granddaddy could, he could sing, and my aunties and uncles could sing, cousins, we all could sing. I'm not, I'm not the singer, I'm gonna tell you right now, I play the drums. I, I do my part in the band, in, in the in the choir, whatever you want to call it, but I definitely is not no lead singer. But if you are not new to the channel, you know that I'll bust out a song in a heartbeat. If you are new to the channel, let me apologize in advance for my singing. No need of me put a nasty comment in there. I know <laughs> I can't sing. But I sing anyway. At the top of my lungs, I sing. And I sing all kinds of music, all kinds of genres. I like them all. Don't have no particular one that I stick to. If I like the rhythm, and I like the words, I will let it go. But I am not a biker child. But I do love to ride my motorcycles every chance that I get. And uh, I got some more road trips coming up. But the next one, people are asking me, when's the next one, Slappy? The next one is going to be what Boots and Jeans call a biker vacation. A bikercation, they call it. If you haven't heard of Boots and Jeans, Boots and Jeans is on YouTube. Look them up. Right now, they're doing a real good trip. I've been kind of following. They got a camper tent, and they're going to mess around and make me buy one. But Boots and Jeans, shout out. Old Slappy Dog is waving a hand at you. I see y'all doing that good stuff. I'm going to have to get with you guys. I think old um, Two Wheels for Fun. Two Wheels for Fun is back in, in the States, and he's in California. I might have to get with y'all and see if we can't meet up and uh, meet somewhere in the middle. He's on YouTube. Two wheels for fun. I like to get up there and uh, get with old Cuz. That's what I call him. His last name's Jackson. Old BG winging it up in New York, man. We're going to have to get together one of these days and uh, do a ride. Or just meet up and get us a damn tamale or one of them uh, uh, pizzas, one of them uh, New York style pizzas or whatever y'all eat up there, as long as it ain't seafood, I'm down for it, <laughs> but uh, uh, BG winging it, that's my man right there, I haven't met him yet, but you know, we kind of go back and forth on the Facebook, I kind of, I like his style, but uh, I am not a biker child, but I am a fan of it. My children mess around with it. They, they're not really, they, they haven't adopted it real good yet. 
my baby boy, if any of them, may be the one to, to jump on board. Uh, we kind of, I kind of winged him off of it right now. He's got some football to do, and don't want to get him out here riding too hard, and and uh, anything can happen. But uh, while he's got football going on, we'll kind of focus on that. But I am going to work, and I know I said something about singing, and. Uh, doing any fishing over there. I know they said something about, I said something about singing, and maybe I can pull up a song. Look at that Chevelle. Nice. Maybe I can pull up a song. Maybe I can pull up a song. This, this might be it.
see y'all. I'm so glad my mama and dad drug me. <laughs> All right, you guys, free like, share, and subscribe. I'm in the work. Go get this money. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.